Welcome to Nago University. My name is Hannah and I'm currently a second year at G30 International Biology Program at School of Agricultural Sciences. Nice to meet you! It's nice to meet you, Hannah. Could you show me around the campus a little bit? Sure, follow me! This is the Science South building. In this building, we have conference rooms, labs, and also some lecture rooms. So in this building, we also have, during our second year first semester, we have our first cell biology class. Okay, so in both majors, uh, we get to have similar biology classes like genetics, cell biology, microbiology, and even some chemistry fields like organic chemistry and even biochemistry. So to be more specific, Biology of Faculty of Science focuses on four departments, life sciences, marine biology, genetic facility, and also biomolecules. Meanwhile, for Faculty of Agriculture, we focus on biology of food, health and medical sciences, biotechnology, and also environment. If you're still confused, you can even, I can be even more specific. So for Faculty of Science, we focus on understanding molecular level, so biological processes are focused on those intricate things, while for biological of agriculture, we focus on both molecular level and mostly on the application and development. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to check the website. Mm, that's interesting. And what about you, Hannah? Why did you choose to study biology at the School of Agriculture? So I was very intrigued in themes like environment and also medical sciences. And when I saw how broad biology of agriculture is, I thought that it would be very helpful for me to probably see more about the labs first and then decide on what I want to specialize on. Mm, I see. That's great to hear. Now, can you tell me a little bit about student life at Nagoya University? Where do you hang out and what kinds of activities do you do? Sure, follow me. So this is our agricultural science building. We often hang out here now and then because it's just very convenient as our student lab experiment room is just upstairs. And because we're almost entering our third year, we mostly focus on our student experiments. Oh, that's very cool. And how about you, Hannah? Have you had a chance to do some lab work already? Actually, I have. Would you like to see? So this is the Molecular and Biotechnology Lab. When you enter your third year of second semester, you get to choose which lab you want to focus on. And that means you're also faster half a year than the Japanese regular students because we get to choose and also adjust to this kind of environment and also our senpais and colleagues with our research topics. Ah, one more thing. We also have a very different um, student lab experiment system. So for bioscience students, they get to have a shorter lab experiment, but then they have lab rotations which they can choose from three labs they want to specialize on. So if you pick biosci, you are expected to maybe know about what you want to focus on. And for bioagri, we don't have lab rotations, but we do have lab tours. And from these lab tours, we get to inquire more about the, with the professors and also see the environment and also their research topics. That's so cool. Thanks for explaining that to me. How about this? What kind of career paths have G30 biology students taken? So that's a very good question. Let's ask Professor Yasmina, which is the supervisor of our G30 program and also the supervisor of this molecular and biotechnology lab. Okay, hello. So this is Professor Yasmina, our G30 supervisor. Thank you, Hannah. Hello, everyone. Hello, nice to meet you, Professor Jasmina. Thanks for letting us stop by. Um, could you tell us about the career paths of G30 alumni? Sure, please follow me. So our G30 alumni take two main career paths. One is working for biotech companies in Japan and abroad. Some of them include Amano Enzymes, or Kose Corporation, or Hoyu in Japan. Uh, and some of them include uh, venture companies in, for example, Netherlands. Many of our graduate students also pursue studies at universities in Japan or in Asia or uh, all over the world. Some of the examples include Stanford University in the USA or University of Oxford in the UK or ETH Zurich in Switzerland. Wow, I'm impressed. It sounds like the G30 Biology program graduates have had a lot of interesting career opportunities after graduating from Nagoya University. Okay, I think that's all the questions I had for you at this time. Thank you so much, Professor Jasmina, for your time, and thank you, Hannah, for showing me around. Thank you for stopping by. So that concludes our brief tour at Biology Department of Nagoya University. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in applying for our G30 International Program, please check our G30 Admissions website. I hope to see you here. Bye!